right, let's uh, try to speed run this story. I think I'm about 60% of the way through. Whatever, we got things to do. Okay, I need to have the gamma accelerator research, which means we gotta waste some time. I want to get some artifacts. So let's go do this one then. Nico, Nico heals. So that means I'll probably take Captain America. Yeah, this is fine. Hydro forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Target confirmed. They are. You're in over your heads. Nice. Oh, you gotta consume it. Interesting. Do I double up and then just go for it? See how much I can build up. So we're trying to get into a situation where I can keep using Never Let Up over and over and over again. I wonder how this works with Crack the Sky. Let's play Double Up. It's going to double up my Lash thing though, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Okay, so if I inspire... Where does this put me? It does make it zero. That's super interesting. So I should have probably have done that inspire first, to be honest, but whatever. Um, is anybody here... Hail to your mother. Let's go ahead and summon more people. Bring them on, as many as you can handle. We can handle quite a few, I think. Okay, so I've still got two plays. I have a feeling that Nico's gonna have a bad time here in a moment. I can keep building stuff by killing some of these jobbers, because some of them are actually marked. Oh, it's just the big guys that are marked. That sucks. This new edition didn't do anything for me. Hmm, 301, forceful. Can I manage to get a kill by doing this? Oh, I can, interesting. It's gonna use a heroism though, which I think I'm actually kind of okay with. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I guess at this point I crack the sky and then play Never Let Up. Oh, it's free. Okay, so I don't have to do that. So maybe I accept the fact that... I might be screwing myself. Can I blood for blood and have it do something useful? cannot so I lose the play if I do that okay so if I dig in we do it on the hunter Happy to help. And then maybe Nico's gonna end up taking a big hit here you have my thanks. Still coming this way. okay so it does say consume all heroism I'm not sure how this is going to work with Inspire. Let's <laughs> see what happens. I'm working on it, man. Sorry, but the blood magic still creeps 
it didn't actually that's super cool it didn't actually consume any of my my heroism Should be. Hmm. One twenty seven. Get the free play this way. Hard draw is such a big deal in this game. Here we go. You're never too old to improve. Nice. Just need to make sure that I always have two heroes and left. You've been jabasted. What are you doing, man? Hero combo and then never let up. Wanna try this again? How's the anxiety level catch in? You've been on some good dates. That's a good thing. Anybody super exciting? Now that was impressive. Shock shielded, gross. Suppressed. You're temporarily safe. On redraw, get concealed. That's actually super cool. Um. Okay. Walk in the light. I might have to try that myself. Who's you? I don't know, man. So I need to save a redraw for the best defense. Just witch storm. Witch storm never feels that good. Oh, who's like you? Oh, the older guy. Okay. In power. I like in power a lot, but it's not the right card for this situation. Who has the other card? This guy. Huh. First man. I think you got him. No valid abilities. I guess that makes sense. Okay, who can I destroy while I'm at it here? Must be nice to have somebody who thinks kind of like you. You 
You'll have to excuse me if I don't cower in fear. Okay. So we just go invisible. And we call it good. I will not fail. Fairly solid round. to an ally. Hmm. Whole bunch of inspires. How's the card game, Borga? I like it. It's like a weird blend of like XCOM and other things. I have a few complaints though. I think the biggest one is that at really high difficulty levels, you're basically pigeonholed in having certain like party makeups. Which I guess isn't the end of the world, but it still feels bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching too hard. Can I get that last one in there? Oh, I totally can. <clears throat> getting up I must be doing something right mm -hmm. Weak, even for Hydra I mean there's nothing requiring me to play at the highest difficulty level right like part of it's self-inflicted. Atomic Heart is a game that I really enjoyed oh, for what it was, weird. but there's no way in hell I'm buying the DLC. Self-inflation is the best. I'm not sure I agree with your sentiment on that point, but yeah. Everybody's got a little masochistic streak, I guess. Consider it done. It's gonna win. <clears throat> oh, I got lucky. Sweet. A good thing we convinced caretaker to wake you up. Good thing. Oh no! We'll stop everywhere. It was pretty cool. It was a legendary ability. Mm. 
There are... Choices to be made. Mm. Do I just witch storm? What do you mean by depend upon the cards? So 93 times 4. 270, I get the two kills. Nico's gonna get punched a little bit, but that's okay. How about this one? They do dictate what I can do, so yes. But some characters just don't have cards of certain classes. So, for example, like, um, Hunter doesn't have cards that remove people from combat. Hello, Vremir. Got any new numbers lately? Uh, okay. Don't really have any good choices here. Just burn it. Um, I can move. I wonder if there's anything else that's worth doing. Doesn't look like it. say that but you've done it a couple of times Looking at me now? Lilith must be desperate if these are her best. time is almost up do as much as you can it's kind of unfortunate that this game Don't flopped as hard as it did because there's actually nothing wrong with it like in the general sense of things. <clears throat> Can I boop that guy? I might be able to, but I'm not. Ugh. Hmm. Kind of stuck here I didn't get a particularly good draw so I'm kind of screwed how do I get around this I've got one redraw left So I could maybe get lucky off of a heal. Get the overheal. So I get the two draw. It's a possibility. Forceful throw is pretty good. Um, double up on skills. I don't think I care. Let's flip that out. Yeah, I mean, it was free. So you'd think that would give it more traction, but... just don't think it got the marketing that it needed and because it's like B grade Marvel We've got a together. stars as opposed to you know most of the top tier ones and it being a card game it all just kind of works against it Okay, I think the right play is Witch Storm this guy to get the Never Let Up. This usually works. Oh, 
<laughs> Somebody else mentioned that it was like a poor man's Baldur's Gate 3 or something. And I'm not sure I agree with it, but I can see why somebody would, you know, reach that conclusion. Okay, so I've got one play left. And I'm basically going to be destroying my entire hand. So what I need to do is just use something that'll give me a buff. Okay, so now I can play Never Let Up. Pitch my hand, get a new set. What do I have available here for spice? I guess I can spark one of these, but I'm not even sure I'm going to get my card back. I think I will, though. You are lucky to still be breathing. Once humans are okay. Blood magic. Gross. <coughs> Challenge. I'm just not a big fan of like MMO shooters. Yeah. It is all coming back to me. Oof, wild. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill them all. Like, even if I crack the sky and I get lucky. Ugh. Yeah. So what's the play? Gain one heroism for each KO, but then I just... lose everything it'd be nice to be able to kill two I don't know if this guy's gonna count as one of them though so is it best to just try to band a fire and roll with it Um, it doesn't actually have that much going with it, really. It is... Oh, I've got the environmental things, too. It's literally just seven days to die. That's the game. It is seven days to die. With, like, Pokemon elements to it. So the gameplay loop itself is not that that complicated. The problem I have with those sorts of games is that the AI tends to be dumb as bricks. And there's no particularly good way of turning it into more of like a team coordination game. It's really just a solo game where you happen to have other people around. <clears throat> your chance to escape. That wasn't bad. Okay, so I got the 25 enemy reward thing. It looks like Captain America is going to get booped a little bit, but I don't think it matters. I could maybe shove somebody into there. One thirty five. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with once human, but I think I'd rather, if I was going to play in the long term, I'd rather just play WoW again or something like that. I don't know. 
That's kind of annoying. That's 115. Oh, I think I hit that with the wrong dude. Oh, is he not gonna howl? Okay, that's good. Get out of there! I've been waiting. I need a medic here. Right in the gut. Every now and then I get the itch to play WoW again. I still get a bunch of friends who play it on the regular. The problem with a game like that, though, is you kind of have to exclusively play it. We've done it. I think six weeks is a little, a little quick, but it really becomes a game of like how much do they wipe? They have to do something, right? Otherwise, it becomes destiny. So wiping is the easy way, but they're going to alienate a lot of people as a consequence of it, especially when there's a base building element to it. Right? Like you spend all this time building this fancy crap and then it just gets blown away. It's like, okay. Uh, 